Mark here. Welcome to RC Planes, Coffers and Trucks on YouTube. Well, been having a lot of fun with this RC Era. RC Era Bell 206B RC Copter. Uh, I, I'm really surprised at how much I like it, quite frankly. Um, now, I had one just like this here previously, and I was doing some FPV flying, and I had... Uh, I had, uh, I, got, I was flying into some wind, hovering into some wind, and I let, well, there's my co-producer there, buddy, boy. I, uh, flying into some wind, and I let myself get too close to a tree, a real tall tree, and I actually backed into the tree. <laughs> Tail rotor hit, copter fell to the ground, and was no more flyable. I posted a video of that. I have onboard, uh, onboard the helicopter video of it crashing into a tree and falling to the ground, so you could always watch stuff for entertainment. Anyway, this video, as you know from the title, is about, uh, for those of you that are a little bit new to FPV installing and wondering if you can do an FPV system on an on a aircraft as small as this, and what components do you need, and how do you hook it up, well, that's what this video is for, for newbies. All right, so, yes, there are uh, FPV systems small enough to fit on this helicopter. The one that I use, and I've had a lot of good luck with AKK. That's the brand that I use. I've had a few duds, but mostly I've had a real good experience using AKK uh, FPV cameras. So here's what the front of the box looks like. FPV camera system, 3-in-1, also known as an AIO or all-in-one. Pitch transmitter, video transmitter, camera, and antenna. And the F, the, uh, this sort of shows you what the all-in-one means. There we go. And then uh, this is very important because the little system I'm going to talk about today is called, it's not called, it's the AKK brand model A1, excuse me, model A11T. That's the AKK brand model A11T, 5.8 gig micro FPV system. Now this is so small and I've not found any other uh, system small enough to fit this copter. Uh, this does not have audio capability. Uh, I haven't found any this small that do. Uh, it does have smart audio capability. You can see dead screen. Now, what we're looking at here is the, uh, the little instruction booklet for this camera. Now, it's really important back here. Really important back here is... My hands are all dirty. I've been doing your Anyway, what's really important back here is it shows you how to connect it. Let's get the camera steadied. Okay, so you can see... Can I get a pointer? A little pointer type of a thing? Just a second. All right, so... You see right here, it says smart audio, and that's the green wire. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to take advantage of that uh, function. So for now, it's a mystery to me. Uh, but what you do need to do in order to make this camera ready to run is you take your video in wire, which is white in color, and you take your video out a wire, which is yellow in color, and you twist them together. You Obviously, you bear the ends Got the bare wire sticking out of the uh, video in white wire, video out yellow wire. You twist the bare ends together. That is what you must do to make the little uh, VT, uh, excuse me, video camera transmitter and antenna ready to function. And of course, after you've wired these two together, you have to make sure that those uh, bare ends aren't going to short out on anything. So tape it or tape the end or something like that to make sure the bare ends of these wires can't touch anything else. And then again, I don't know how to take advantage of it right now. So the smart audio I'm ignoring. So again, just connect the white wire to the yellow wire, get them out of the way and you're, you're good to go. Um, okay. And then this tells you what the different colors mean and so on and so forth. There's a switch to switch different bands and so on and so forth. Anyway, so that's the camera that I'm using. It's only $18 from Amazon right now, folks. And we'll take a closer look at this. All right, so you can quite clearly see a uh, little tiny circuit board right there. There we go. And the antenna there. Okay, there's my wiring. And I've got the lens cap on it right now. You can see it's pretty dang tiny. I mean, this is, uh, for uh, with comparison's sake, here's my thumb. Here's my thumb compared to the size of the camera. See that? It's pretty small. Pretty small. Now, <clears throat> and again, this is uh, quite a bit for newbies, but not necessarily. Uh, 
So the first thing is you, I, that I do is I decide where I want my angle to be. And I personally like my angle to be from from the copter's view, kind of looking forward-ish. So you can see that I've got my camera here set up so that it looks forward from the left or port side, right along the side of the helicopter. See? Yeah, that's that's what my camera angle there. And what I get is 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 uh, what I get in my FPV view is from back here I get everything of the helicopter from here forward. Plus I get the skid skid over here and I get the rotors, the spinning rotor in the shot. So it makes for a really great shot. So the first thing that I do is decide what camera angle I want. Okay. Once I've done that, I'll go ahead and take a little bit of Velcro, adhesive backed Velcro. That's the flesh colored material dead center screen. You can use a white color if you want, so it blends in better if you want. Um, but I always fly with this camera on, and I had this flesh color laying around, so that's what I used. Um, anyway, so once you've de decided your angle, then you put some Velcro on the uh, on the camera itself. This the big square is actually stuck under the little camera on the onto the side of it. Okay, and then you get the other uh, corresponding piece of Velcro on the copter, and you make sure you got it pressed on there really, really good and snug. You know, when you're slugging, you get that. And then before every flight, make sure it's really snug. And I've found that this Velcro is actually pretty good. It's not, see, it's not rock solid, like it's glued to the helicopter. But I think that's helpful because I think it absorbs a lot of vibration. That's my personal theory. All right, so, so you figured out, you've got your, your camera. You got your uh, AKK AE11T FPV camera. You got that, and you've decided where your mounting angle is going to be, mounting place and camera angle is going to be. You've installed the camera, so you've got to have a battery to power the camera and a video transmitter. So, I have found this to be a fantastic battery. This is upside down, of course it is. Let's fix that. Let's, let's, let's resolve that right now. Okay, so, I have found this to be a fantastic battery. It's I get it from Amazon. I don't know the brand. GN3, this is what it says, GN3 light power up. Anyway, it's a 250 milliamp hour, 30 to 60 C, 3.7 volt uh, battery, okay? The, uh, this is, a, for this type of a battery, this little one cell, uh, this type of a battery, this micro battery, this is actually a pretty big one. It's got more voltage and more flying time than usual. So once I've picked up the battery, then I have to, now I've got the Velcro down here, as I said. Now, the reason I like the Velcro here is I can move the battery forward, back, left, right, so that I can arrive through experimentation at just the right CG situation. So where the battery is now is exactly where it needs to be for perfect forward to rear CG and side to side. And to check that out, obviously, I just would lift up the, the bird like this. I can't really do it right now. I can sort of do it. I lift it up like this and see if the nose is down uh, or up. I don't have the battery in here, by the way. The tail's down a little bit right now because the flight battery that goes to the nose is not in here. But I make sure that the tail's not too high, nose to too low when I do the CJ test or angling backwards. And then let's say by the same token, I do another CG test where I hold the rotors like this. Again, I'm just, just I'm looking like a complete dip. But I hold it like this and then see how the side to side is. To counter this, you might have to counter this. Uh, if you need to counter this, this is so light that I don't have to on this helicopter. I can center the battery under the belly of the copter as I just showed you. But if this was heavier and was wanting the CG of the copter uh, left to right to uh, lean this direction, I could move the, the battery in the opposite direction to counterbalance and, and, and overall balance the aircraft, okay? And then once I've got my uh, helicopter ready to fly, and my ground station, you'll have to get yourself a, a, a video slash audio receiver, a video monitor, and with a DVR in there, a digital video recorder. You're going to want that, so you can put an SD card in there and record your flights. Um, but what you do when you're ready to fly is you go ahead and uh, uh, turn on your, your monitor, your video monitor. Uh, and then under here, you see that tiny, 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 tiny wire that plugs into the tiny, tiny, tiny little socket dead center screen on the battery. Okay, once you've done that, your image will appear on your video uh, ground station monitor, and you're good to go. And then you just fly the helicopter as normal. 
So this helicopter, ninety-seven dollars. I paid one hundred seven to get two batteries with it. You get one automatically, and I got two. That cost me one hundred seven from Amazon. This AKK uh, camera, K one eleven T. Is not what I said. A A is an Apple. A one eleven T, eighteen dollars. Okay. Uh, the battery that's powering the FPV system, which you can see dead center screen on the belly of the beast. That was about, Jesus, six dollars for a battery or so. So I got those micro batteries. I got a real good charger, and that's it, folks. That's all you got to do. Have some fun. Now, when you get a bigger helicopter and you want to put FPV on there, well, AKK makes another model of all-in-one system, video transmitter, uh, antenna, and camera. And the one that I'm talking about. It actually has a microphone on the circuit board of the all-in-one FPV unit, in which case you have audio. All right. And、uh, next time I install one of those on something, which will be pretty soon, I'll get into more detail on that. Okay, this is Mark, RC planes, copters, and trucks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing.、I'm、getting some real good views on a number of my videos, and I sure, sure appreciate the support, ladies and gentlemen, pilots. And I、uh, hope to see you back here at RC planes, copters, and trucks very soon. Thanks again, folks. Have a great day.